what is up you guys welcome back to another video today this is my first one piece manga chapter review i was gonna do one um two weeks ago but then i ended up not having the time to do it but then today i i, I said you know what i was doing the sakamoto today's video so i was like you know what i'll i'll do one piece too because i love one piece you guys for those of you guys that might not know one piece is my favorite manga of all time i love one piece uh, with everything in my body i love one piece so much <clears throat> and this chapter in particular was really really fun you guys and just before we begin if you guys uh are new here consider subscribing also i have an anime reaction channel which i would appreciate if you guys could go and check that out as well i'm always reacting to anime and stuff like that over there and that's what i mainly do i just started doing this recently so i would appreciate it if you guys could go out there and uh check that out as well and don't forget to subscribe here as well but you guys without further ado let's get right on into chapter 1123 of one piece so you guys this chapter started off with a you know continuation of yamato's cover story she's chilling with denjiro but uh we well this was a cover story but the chapter actually started off where the last one ended where we see the straw hats leaving with the giants uh they're leaving out egghead they're trying to get to elbaf and one thing that was uh, very very crazy was we see a lot of the vice admirals and stuff just knocked out like we see vice admiral doll and she looks like she's never had a better uh sleep in her life she's just all cold foaming at the mouth and we have we see s snake trying to wake her up which is interesting uh we see s snake didn't get affected by joy boy's hockey which i'm not sure if they could get knocked out i mean they can they're sentient so they can get knocked out by conqueror's hockey so this is a uh, seraphim gas speaking of gas you guys in the next panel we see dorian Bragi talking about like you know the hockey and stuff like that and how everybody is knocked out and then we see uh, them question if this hockey was stronger than Shanks's, which you guys, I, I'm not, I'm sure a lot of people realize, but the Shanks hype is ridiculous, you guys. We know that Shanks is one of the strongest people in One Piece, but this took it to another level because Dory and Bragi, they can't tell if it's stronger than Shanks's, you know. I do, in my opinion, I will say that um, Joy Boy will probably be, maybe uh, be a little bit stronger then shanks is but 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 we don't know right because we know shanks is ridiculous we know next to nothing about shanks so uh, it could be that they might be neck and neck you know what i mean and I, honestly i can't wait till oda goes into the backstory of shanks and actually tells us like uh, you know his background and how he's so strong and stuff like that and all of that i'm excited you guys shanks is one of the most mysterious characters and one of the most beloved characters in one piece i can't wait to explore more about but you guys, we see Luffy trying to thank Emeth, but unfortunately there is no response and Emeth is just out. Uh, I wonder if we'll see Emeth again. I don't think we will. I think that was it. We Actually, we probably will see Emeth when we get the eventual Wood Century flashback, so we might see him then. And then we see the Giants and everybody talking about let's go to Elbaf. And then we see a cute uh, little panel of Bonnie just passed out sleeping on top of kuma which is so adorable you guys one thing that i'm curious about is i wonder if kuma is alive or not right because last time we saw him even do anything was when bonnie and luffy went into gear 5 and they kuma was smiling and then we also see zora just there and then we see usopp just all happy and stuff like that he's happy to see the giants and stuff like that we see luffy resting in nami's lab which i'm a little bit confused about because nami was in the thousand sunny and luffy was on the giant's ship so maybe luffy just floated on over there before he you know ran out of gas i think or maybe nami just jumped on over who knows right but that was something that i was a little bit i got a little bit curious about then you guys we get to the main point of the chapter and a lot of you guys out there a lot of you agenda pushers the agendas oh sanji an apology i remember when vegapunk got hit and vegapunk died and the message started everybody was like oh sanji failed to do what he wanted to do yada 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 but as it turns out vegapunk had told well actually before that we get into the flashback of how vegapunk actually ended up finding out about the traitor and the interesting thing was he kept blaming lilith and stuff like that they were running some tests and stuff like that and they're like wait we don't have the same amount of energy for the mother flame as before and then they concluded uh it was vegapunk shaka and Pythagoras. They concluded that somebody must have been the traitor and vegapunk stella kept uh, trying to say it might be lilith because lilith is quote-unquote evil and so that was very very interesting to me you guys but Pythagoras comes back and he's like it's york yada 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 and then vegapunk was like uh, uh, you know he was he was sad that he, he used his greed and he separated it and stuff like that and he said oh it does make sense and he apologizes to lilith 
we also learn that Pythagoras finds out York has been uploading fake memories and stuff like that. Then we also see that York used one of the CBs, the mechanical CBs, to take uh, part of the Mother Flame to Mary Joie to give it to the elders. So then Vegapunk comes up with a little plan, the three of them, because they all have alibis. At first, uh, Pythagoras says that they have to leave and uh, Stella says, oh no, not Pythagoras, Shaka says, Shaka says that they should leave, but Stella says, you know what, where can we really go realistically? No matter where we go, they're going to be after us, yada, yada, yada. So Stella decides that it's time for him to die. And before he does that though, they go and record the message that, or the broadcast that the world was seeing and stuff like that. I also have like the chapter open here. So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm covering everything, you know, I'm trying to just blow by it and stuff. And one thing was also that Vegapunk was saying that they have the technology that Ohara didn't before. Which I wonder how the world would have changed if Ohara had the ability to broadcast this message. So that's kind of interesting. And so Vegapunk and them, they decide to record the message. And when Vegapunk was trying to hide the transporter under Snail in Emeth, York showed up asking him what he's doing. Like, yada, yada. And he's like, oh, you know, I'm just trying to make sure the Mother Flame works. And York is like, yeah, we got to perfect it, you know. And Vegapunk's like, yo, I hope it stays incomplete. I don't want it to be perfected, of course, because he knows how the world government is trying to use it because he also becomes aware of what happened in Lulucia, which if you guys remember, all of Lulucia was wiped out and it was like the craziest flood going on and stuff. So Vegapunk and uh, Shaka and Pythagoras, they go and record the broadcast. Then they go and wipe out their memories. And then like, leaves himself a message, which asks him to basically have faith in himself and die. And this is really crazy because the whole time Vegapunk was like, even after Vegapunk's like, wait, what the hell? Why would I ask myself to do that? And then, uh, if you guys remember when Lu Luffy and Kizaru were going at it, Vegapunk tells Sanji, yo, listen, I'm not, I don't plan on going with you guys. I need, like, something's gonna happen if I, if I die. And then Sanji's like, wait, what are you talking about? The crazy thing, you guys, is like, Sanji knew that Vegapunk wanted to die, but since he's so kind, he still tried to save him after anyways, you know? And one can say that, like, the whole time Sanji was just like the mental like think about this okay imagine Sanji's confliction because he had to Vegapunk wanted to die but they were there trying to save Vegapunk and Sanji had to willingly let Vegapunk die which is ridiculous you guys and one thing that's so so cool you guys is Vegapunk right before he goes he's he tells Sanji I want your crew to be the ones to get the one piece of course it's because Luffy, you know, he has a Nika fruit and stuff like that. He resembles Joy Boy. So I find that to be really, really interesting, you guys. So that was kind of like the summary of the chapter, what happened. I will probably make a video on what I expect from, or what I would like to see, not expect, what I would like to see in Elbaf. But one thing, you guys, that I would like to see a lot is uh, Usopp getting uh, a lot of attention in Elbaf. You know, we know that a lot of the Straw Hats post time skip, aside from like our main trio, have been. Kind of like, it's been kind of like wishy-washy, you know. Uh, I want to see them get stronger because they are the crewmates of the future Pirate King. Obviously, I don't want all of them to go and just become top-notch, top tiers, and like be able to fight top tiers like, you know, Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji. Uh, I will eventually be able to all do, I'm sure. And even right now, they could still hold their own to some degree. But I I said it before, and I'll say it again. I want a lot of them to get stronger. I want Usopp to perfect, like, you know, his observation hockey and stuff like that. Another thing that would be cool is, obviously, we know Usopp is, like, you know, he's been wanting to, like, be with the Giants for a long time, ever since Little Garden. Another thing that would be kind of cool is if they have something uh, uh, equivalent to Thor's hammer. Because we know that they're Giants and they have, like, a whole Norse mythology thing going on and stuff like that. So, it'd be kind of cool if Usopp, you know, Usopp's hammer was kind of, like, foreshadowing. I feel like that'd be really, really cool. I want to see Usopp get attention too. Us Usopp is cool, but he's been kind of like, he hasn't done too much. And Usopp, you guys, in my personal opinion, is one of the characters that could have, like, a showcase some of the most interesting and fun fights because of how smart he is. And because he's always, like, worried about his life, of course, he's not, I wouldn't call him a coward, but he is fearful, you know? There's a difference because a coward is, like, you, you don't, you don't act, right? But Usopp, it, he is, in a, to a degree, he is quite brave because even when he's afraid, he acts and that's where he is. And I'm excited, you guys. I'm here. I, I don't see Luffy and Shanks meeting just yet. I, I am uh, one of those people that do believe that Shanks... Here's the thing, though. Uh, Shanks is getting hyped to the moon, which is great. I love it. 
but at the same time we know that blackbeard and shanks have been kind of set up to fight at some point and i also don't see blackbeard losing to shanks because he has to fight luffy as well so i'm curious how oda is gonna handle that i i trust oda but i really hope he handles that uh in a way where everybody's satisfied you know i'm not gonna sit here and say i want shanks to be the one to lose his life but like uh i don't see blackbeard losing to anybody except luffy so and uh, that's going to be interesting how oda handles it we remember that last time when shanks uh destroyed kid he was about to leave elbath right so um uh, and and we saw him when uh he was listening to vegapunk when we were seeing broad uh the broadcast in one of the chapters we saw that shanks and his crew were already at sea so i don't expect to see shanks and his crew in elbath even if they do hear that luffy is there like realistically shanks cares about luffy so he's not gonna run back and be like hey why the hell is this guy on my pro on my territory and i have to get him out especially if the gi uh, giants vouch for him um uh, another person that i want to see get explored in elbath is loki and his relation like his uh character and his relationship with big mom and stuff like that we know that he was supposed to marry lola and lola ran away and she said no so i wonder how loki will be maybe he'll be like a minor antagonist at first because he will uh we know that uh, luffy and them are friends with lola so he'll be like wait that's the girl that rejected me so that'd be kind of cool i am looking for forward to a lot of characters getting growth hopefully and obviously i'm looking forward to a crazy crazy amount of lore drop in Elbath, I'm hoping that we get a lot more information on uh, Sun God Nika and Joy Boy and stuff like that. So that would be very, very cool, you guys. I am excited. And of course, we don't have a break this week. So uh, I waited for to do the official uh, chapter because I didn't want people to get spoiled potentially. Uh, because even though I'm sure there are, well, I do know there are a lot of other manga readers that do uh, when the fan translation comes out. I do read uh, the brief spoilers, the summary and the uh, fan translation and the official chapter. So... I don't really mind so if you guys uh made it this far let me know if i should go ahead and uh start making videos when the fan translation comes out or if i should potentially make videos when the brief spoilers come out and talk about what i think i feel like that'd be kind of cool i see a lot of people doing that uh for things like Jujutsu Kaisen when the panels come out without the trans uh full translation and stuff so that'd be kind of cool so let me know you guys but if you guys enjoyed consider leaving a like commenting if you're new here you guys consider subscribing uh let me know what you guys thought about the chapter down below i think it was pretty cool also let me know down below you guys uh who are you guys excited to see in elbath i know a lot of people are rooting for usab myself included i want to see usab get growth i want to see usab get stronger uh growth as in his character of course and most of all i want to see usab just have a blast because of course the giant are you know the people he's been wanting to meet his whole life he even calls this you know his uh not like he calls this his uh the land of his dreams right uh, i don't think he calls it in this translation but in the french translation could do that so i don't know how much i should trust that i don't think i'll trust that at all to be honest because they did mess up the whole shank situation too. they tried to make it look like joy boy's hockey was uh, objectively stronger than shanks's when in the official translation they, were, they weren't sure so i'm not gonna trust that but i hope usab has a blast i hope he gets growth i hope we see more uh, like some bits and pieces about loki hopefully we actually explore him a lot but i'm just uh beating a dead horse but you guys let me know down below and you guys as always i will catch you guys in the next one